Hi guys, Dean 100 Man here from Migrate iPhone and we've got an application review for you today. Now this is no game application, it's one of those applications that I found while mooching around App Shopper. Now it is free for a short amount of time, so I thought I'd grab it, give it a look over and what I found I liked. So I thought I'd show you guys. So this application that we found today is called a Stop Motion Recorder and we'll just give you a bit of a preview of what the icon looks like. So this is the icon here. We'll just zoom out again. We'll launch the app and let's have a brief look at what it does. So any of you guys that aren't familiar with stop motion, it's those type of videos that are very, you know, you kind of move the object, take a picture, move the object, take a picture, move the object, take a picture, and then you put all those pictures together and it gives you a great um, video kind of of things just moving around without anybody touching them. So we'll have a look at the settings first of all. Now you can turn the flash on and off just up here, okay, and you can also put it in auto mode if you need it. This application also uses the front facing camera as well if you need it to, okay, and you can also set it to lock um, the contrast if you need it to so you can lock it on a certain position. So just down here you can see how many pictures that you have taken and you've got two modes. You've got manual mode which means that you have to take each picture individually or you've got an automatic mode where you just continually move the object and it just takes a series of pictures. Now the problem with automatic mode especially if you're going to do stop motion by moving things is that you're not going to get your hand out the way at all. You also can list and see what stop motion videos that you've already recorded. If we head over into settings itself it gives us another set of menus. You've got onion skin which is where you can see where the previous picture was put. You've got grid so it gives you a grid on the screen so you can make sure everything is aligned and in manual mode you also get a snapshot so you can position your phone where you want, give a clap and it will take the pictures. Now there's also loads of different styles that you can also take. You've got mirror, sepia, noir, instant, vintage green, yellow gel, Lomo and original, and original comes in HD. So let's give you a preview of how the application works. So let's just move this out a little bit and we'll show you how this works. <clears throat> okay, so what you would do is you would put an object just here and if we go out of settings, okay so You'd have an object, and you can probably see that I've got both of these in. You press the play button, which is just here, click play, and you take your first picture by touching the screen. Okay, move it slightly, second picture, move it slightly, third picture, move it slightly, and so on and so forth. We're just going to do this real quickly until we've got all the pictures that we need and then you can also edit it in this application itself and we'll show you how to do that. So I'll just finish getting all the pictures that we need. Okay, so that's pretty much all the pictures and then we can go straight back into where we were. So this is the menu for kind of editing your videos. Now down at the bottom, if we just zoom in a little bit on the screen, you can see it's got frames per second and you can go anywhere between okay, one frame per second all the way up to 12. So if we put it on two and then we can play it, you can probably see it's quite jumpy there. Okay, and all the way up to 12 frames per second and you can see it kind of spins by itself and stop motion photography makes videos absolutely excellent I really do like it now you can do certain other things you can rotate it and play it as well you can move frames one by one and delete certain frames if you wish we'll just spin this all the way around or you can put it in a continuous loop and how many times you want to loop it up to three so we'll just put it on loop Play it again. Okay, take loop off. And you can also reverse the video so it would spin the other way, for example. 
From there, once you've picked all the settings that you want, you can either retake it if you're not happy with it, or save it. So we're going to save this one. It says, do you want to save this video at 12 frames per second? We're going to decide that we want to. It'll process it, make sure it's all saved up, and give it a title and description. So we're going to call this video test, and we're going to put my great iPhone in there. Click enter. It's just going to make sure those are there. And from there, we can go list, take it into the video that we played. Now, we can add music to it if we wanted to. We can export it if we just click the export button. I can send it straight to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, or email. Or I can send it to the camera roll. Or I can delete it straight from there. So, this one we're going to save to the camera roll. And it just takes a few seconds to do that once that is done. And then we're going to head into my camera roll and we're just going to play this for you. So as you can see, there it is. And I think it gives it an absolutely great effect. So this has been the review of Stop Motion Recorder. It is free at the moment, but make sure you do head over and get it straight away. I think it's an absolutely great application. I also forgot to tell you that you can record shoot in landscape mode and that I think is even better. So I will definitely be using this application quite a lot and you might even see some of the footage in our next YouTube videos. Big thanks for watching this video. Please give us a thumbs up as it help, helps us loads and also if you want to subscribe to our channel. Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you real soon. Cheers.